Williams, and I'm here today to present my real life presentation. My audience is LaShawn Hudson and Mary Dale Borderman. The mind is like a parachute, it only functions when it's open. Being a part of the special education program is very rewarding. However, it is important that when working with people who have disabilities, you keep safety the first priority and keep an open mind. How I first knew that I wanted to work in special education, I was a freshman in high school. I was stuck in the bathroom and I was having a very bad day and I, a little girl who clearly had some type of disability walked in and put her hand on my shoulder. She told me, don't cry, there's been better days. Other people have had worse days than you have. This is the day I realized I wanted to work and make this my career. While working with kids with disabilities, I have realized it takes a great deal of patience and experience to fully enjoy the rewards of working in this program. Today I am covering two points. My first point is safety. Keeping the environment safe will offer a healthy and happy environment to thrive. People with exceptional needs require environmental safety, emotional nurture, and social acceptance. Just like working with any other student, safety has to be the strong role in everyday activities. There must be some type of guidelines that must be followed in order to maintain safety. Since our kids are more complex, the rules also must be more complex. My next point is keeping an open mind. Having an open mind is very crucial. Before you jump into an opportunity, close-minded, just think of all the other opportunities that could come aboard. Developmental psychologist Carol Dweck states that for no matter what disability is, effort ignites the ability and knowing where the ability came from. If you stay stuck in a closed mind, you will find yourself stuck. Today I have discussed how important safety is in the environment when working with children who have disabilities. I have also discussed about keeping an open mind. In my conclusion, I want you to remember the story I told you about the little girl who put her hand on my shoulder and told me that there would be better days. This could be you finding out that somebody who has a disability changed your life. Thank you.